Hey, Sean here. I uh, said I'd come back once my Diamondback came in. It's here now. I don't think there's any real purpose for me to do a how-to video or anything. It's uh, There's plenty online and I'm sure people can read the instructions. But I will show the Diamondback cover, kind of some mid-install type pictures and videos, and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like afterwards and tell you what I think. All right, so here's the... Now it comes. It comes on a pallet. I took the pallet, threw it away. Cool. It's packed pretty nicely in here. Of course, it's rugged too, so hopefully they're difficult to cause any damage. All right, let's get started. So not quite as easy as I thought it was going to be. That's Partially because I was trying to do it with just me. And then I had the kids sit on top to weight it down, which is actually very effective. And also I'm a huge nerd and basically had calipers out here trying to make this thing perfect. Um, the tailgate does not, it does not open automatically. Now I don't know if uh, that'll just wear in or if I've got it adjusted wrong or what, but actually don't really care too much. I think having it pop open is going to be the most important thing, at least it's not right now, so I'll figure that out later. Yeah, the back opens up. It works. So. Looks pretty good. Pretty happy with how straight and level it is. I, to be honest, I've seen some that had this uh, forward panel here sticking up. It seemed to be about a half an inch, but I'm not really seeing that. So I'm very happy with this actually. This is great. If you dig deep into the owner's manual, I'm sure most Tundra owners uh, already know this, but it gives you the dimensions on how to make one of these things here. Just a, just a, a two by eight, it's cut down. I painted it black to kind of you know, match and um, put some little pads on there so it wouldn't wobble around. This is just uh, just window um, weather, weather stripping. So yeah, and it keeps things from to keep in that general vicinity. In this area too, it's especially important for me because I, I drop the kids off at school and their backpacks inevitably will end up in the, uh, the far end of the bed here. So this is perfect. Yeah, so overall I'm very uh, satisfied with this. You know, I did have a few um, kind of scratches on the underside here that I wasn't super happy with in terms of this quality control, but I reached out to um, Diamondback and a, a person I'd been emailing with questions before answered the phone and uh, was able to take care of it for me. It gave me a, a little bit of a, a refund. So uh, super awesome company. Um, just, you know, the ability to contact the same person you've been emailing and not have to go through a call center or anything like that is, is pretty stellar. And um, I'm really happy with the uh, customer service that I got for this. So... I do plan on adding some, some rails, some racks to this thing. I don't really need them now. And then uh, I did get the uh, cleats loose because I honestly just don't know really where I want them. If I just want four of them or I want to use all of them that they provided with this. And that really depends on where I'm going to put the, the racks. I'm probably just going to go with the rail system with the racks um, eventually uh, Potentially, at least, getting a, uh, a rooftop tent so we can do some kind of overland um, dispersed camping type stuff. So, um, pretty excited about uh, this um, tunnel cover. I think it is uh, the best choice for for me in this truck. There are at least one other option out there that kind of does what this one does, but that other option is kind of an outrageous uh, lead time and extra cost. So. I definitely think this one looks great with the truck. Functionality is going to be perfect, and I'm very happy with it. I am still looking at 
figuring out what I can do here with the, um, the tailgate, um, not opening, but um, like I said, I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world for now, but I will at least research it to see if there's anything I can do to make it so that it uh, opens at the push of a button, so.